Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 10 to the power of t and this equals 10. You are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, let's consider this first method. I have negative 10 here. I can easily write it as if you have negative 10, this equals negative 1 times 10. So let's replace this negative 10 here with negative 1 times 10. I have negative 1 times 10 raised to the power of t and this equals 10. Now, if you have this identity, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So what I'm going to have here will be negative 1 power t times 10 to the power of t and this equals 10. Now, at this particular point, let's consider this Euler's identity. If you have e to the power of i times pi, and this is plus 1, this equals 0. So from here, you move 1 over here, it becomes negative 1. e power i times pi equals negative 1. You substitute this for i here. You simply have e power i times pi. That is t raised to the power of t times 10 power t equals 10. Now from here, if you have a power n raised to the power of m, equals a power n times n. Apply this identity here. What you are going to have is e power i times pi times t times 10 power t equals 10. So what we can do now is to make use of natural log of natural log of e power i times pi times t times 10 power t equals natural log of 10. Now, if you have natural log of a times b, this will give you natural log of a plus natural log of b. The reason for this is because if you have log of a times b, this is log a plus log b. So the properties of log are applied to natural log. So we apply that property here. This is our a, this is our b. So what I'm going to have is natural log of my a is e power i times pi times t plus natural log of b that is 10 power t equals natural log of 10. Now we apply this other property again. If you have natural log of a power b this equals b times natural log of a. This is because log a power b equals b times log a. So i pi t comes behind this. t comes behind this. So from here, I have i pi t times natural log of e plus t times natural log of 10 equals natural log of 10. Now, we need to know that natural log of e is 1. We have i pi t plus this multiplies as t times natural log of 10 equals natural log of 10. Now, there is t here, there is t here, 
I can decide to factor t out of t times I divide this by t. I pi plus I divide this by t. I have natural log of 10 equals natural log of 10. From here, what I can do is divide this by I pi plus natural log of 10. Divide this by I pi plus natural log of 10. This cancel this. So from here, I have T equals natural log of 10 divided by I pi plus natural log of 10. This becomes our solution for this. Now, let's consider another method of solving this particular exponential problem. So we are going to copy the problem again. This time around, we have negative 10 to the power of t equals 10. Now, we are going to make use of the same trick. This is negative 10. I replace it with negative 1 times 10 power t equals 10. Now, let's consider this complex rule. If you have square root of negative 1, this will give you i, imaginary number i. So, if I decide to take the squares, so what happens is this cancel this. We have negative 1 equals imaginary number i power 2. So, I'm going to replace this negative 1 here with i power 2. What I'm going to have is i power 2 times 10 raised to the power of t equals 10. And from here, I can easily make use of log. I can have log i power 2 times 10 raised to the power of t equals log 10. And from here, if you apply this logarithm of entity, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So the t here comes behind the log. So what you are going to have is t times log i power 2 times 10 equals log 10. From here, let's consider this identity again. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. This is my a, this is my b. So I'm going to have t times log a, that is i power 2 plus log b, that is log 10, equals log 10. Now, in logarithm, what you should know is that log 100 equals log 10 power 2. And this simply means 2 log 10. Now, log 10, and don't forget that logarithm is to the base of 10. So you have 2 log 10 is 10. Log 10 is to the base, log is to the base of 10. This is it. So log 10, this is to the power of 1. We are going to have log 10 to the base of 10. And you have 1 here. So what happened is log 10 to the base of 10 will give you cancel out, will give you 1. So this gives you 2. That's why log 100 is 2, while log 10 is 1. So log 10 is 1. This is 1. This is 1. So from here, we simply have t times log i power 2 plus 1 
equals one. Now remember the same identity that these two here will come behind this lock. So what you are going to have is t times two log i plus one equals one. So what happens here is that you divide this by the same thing, two log i plus one, divide this by the same thing, two log i plus one. So this, cancel this, and we are going to have t equals one, divided by two times log i plus one. So this becomes our answer using this technique. If the two answers are correct, they will give you the same thing if you actually type in this into your calculator. So they are obviously correct, the two answers. So guys, that is it. That's how you can solve this exponential problem and find the value of t. So that is it. See you again. Thank you and goodbye.